prepare for the bumps. Drivers complained, we listened, and the county and contractor are now taking action. How much of these changes are results of our calls? Quite a bit, quite a bit. We would have done them anyway. You brought them to our attention much quicker, and for that, I thank you. News 4 San Antonio highlighted the bumpy ride in the construction zone on Culebra Road, a potentially dangerous intersection. There's no signage. And the traffic backups. We started immediately working out solutions, and we certainly wanted to do it before there were any potential accidents. Now, officers are keeping drivers moving at several intersections, while Bear County works with the city to improve the timing of the lights. And new reflective markings at FM 1560 help clear up a confusing lane shift. Another thing that is really annoying to the drivers is those manhole covers that jut above the new pavement. They think it's annoying, it's a bumpy ride. Could that have been done differently? Actually, no. That is the one thing that, that, that you know, we hope that the, the public understands. Public Works Director Renee Green says manhole covers are always installed at their final level, but they aren't flush with the road until that last layer of asphalt is laid. Still, we are going to take a look at that um, and see if there is a way to smooth that out. We've learned a lot of lessons and we'll apply them to any of our future projects. Two homeowners on the east side of town asked for our help today. Human waste was backing up into their tubs and seeping into their yards. They were frustrated and faced paying thousands of dollars in repairs until News 4's Michael Locklear stepped in to help. Probably, I think, the fourth time that this has happened. Sewage backing up into bathtubs. It's very full of human waste. And the yard, that's toilet paper. A lot of raw sewage would end up being, you know, all in this area here underneath the house. Malcolm Cook and noticed the problem a just a week yeah, after yeah. moving into the yeah. Dignity Hill neighborhood east of downtown. We just get our home and, and then this starts happening. Same problem at Lori Newman's house next door. Part of the reaction was this is the grossest thing I've ever had to live with. The two homes on Burnett are connected to an older sewer line in the back. Recently it collapsed. Pretty gross. So that's human wastewater. The homeowners say the San Antonio water system told them they would have to pay for a long-term fix. Almost $8,000. I'm very frustrated. We can't afford that right now. Each day, um, I'm spending numbers of hours dealing with this, whether it's trying to make phone calls to someone else, emails. We called, saw a spokeswoman, and Hayden. What we'd like to do is make sure that they're connected to a newer line that's in front of the house. So we're going to work with them on doing that. They have service in the meantime and we'll help them get connected to that. Saws called the neighbors saying the utility company would send a plumber tomorrow. I'm just ecstatic <laughs> and relieved. They immediately called us and I, I just think that's phenomenal. They're going to take care of it, they said. Michael Locklear, News 4, no. San Antonio. We are here to get you some results. Especially this one right here. City inspectors. This one's long enough. Sizing up parking spots. Just a little over eight feet. Finding many are too tight. For this one, it's only seven feet, and it has to be nine feet wide in order to be in compliance. Inspectors tagged space <laughs> after space. <laughs> that was not up to code. Taking action after our investigation highlighting paying customers being shorted. Seven foot seven. Earlier this week, News 4 San Antonio found dozens of small spaces downtown that could force you to squeeze out of your car, hoping not to ding a door. We want people to be, be able to safely get in and out of their parking spots uh, without real significant damage or any damage to their cars. You know, they shouldn't have to be subject to that. City code requires all San Antonio parking spots be at least nine feet wide and 18 feet long. So it's over two and a half feet short. Set out standards so that you know people can be safe cars can be you know safe from you know door dings those type of things we tagged along today as inspectors checked five downtown lots they all failed one on Lexington Avenue didn't have enough space next to a handicap spot neither did this one on Broadway and the five lots had plenty of spaces too skinny or short it has to be 18 and it's 15 they all got notices of violation the operators have a month to make their spaces big enough for vehicles or face fines and court dates. And the director of development services tells me inspectors are just getting started checking the problem parking we uncovered. Thanks for bringing it to our attention. If it's a bigger problem where we find a lot more, then we'll have to take appropriate action and maybe start looking at, you know, more than just downtown parking lots to ensure that people have a good place to park. Michael Locklear, News 4, San Antonio.
This family likes to spend time in their backyard like many. They have a trampoline, but instead of having fun, they actually had to grab shovels. A big hole showed up here, so they contacted us to find out who dug it and who was going to fill it. They just think it's a disaster. Like, what the heck did they do to my backyard, you know? Tilda de Hoyos came home a few months ago to find this huge hole and a mountain of dirt. Deep, almost as deep as when they bury somebody. AT&T fiber contractors had been working to bring high-speed internet to the southwest side, so the family waited. It didn't really bother me at first. You know, I said, well, they'll be done. They'll close it up and be gone. Alex, what are you doing in there? It became a potentially dangerous playground. Didn't I tell you how to stay away from here? Tilda couldn't confirm who dug the hole. We've called around to see if somebody, whoever did it, can come and fill it in. Got tired? Yesterday, the family picked up shovels. About two hours of trying. We didn't, we didn't do much damage. I only wanted to contact y'all. Maybe y'all can find who did it because I couldn't do it no more. We called AT&T. The company didn't say what happened, but apologized and sent a crew. Channel 4, they're... They're going to listen to them. The city requires fiber contractors to hang door notices seven days before. And Tilda didn't know the city's website has phone numbers for filing claims. I just wanted to get filled back in, clean up their mess. And now I want to show you the result. This hole has been filled in. AT&T got out here right away after our calls. Reporting live on the southwest side, Michael Locklear, News 4, San Antonio.